Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths, and notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there, and then try to keep it there. Don't put too much pressure on the body. Just be attentive enough to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out, and allow it to be comfortable. You can choose any rhythm of breathing you like. If long breathing doesn't feel good, you can make it shorter. Faster, slower, heavier, lighter, even deeper or more shallow. Experiment for a while to see what feels best right now. It's good to get to know the body in the present moment and to know how you can adjust things so you're not just stuck with whatever situation you find yourself in. We live in this world. One, we have to learn how to live with ourselves, and two, we have to learn how to live with one another. And there are principles in both, both activities. The meditation is for living with yourself. And then there are things to think about as you're living with other people. The Buddha recommended four things to keep in mind so that your relationship will last. And people will be happy to be in that relationship. There are basically four types of generosity. The first is being generous with material things. You gain something, you share it with the other people or with the other person. You don't just keep things for yourself. That way the other people see that okay, you have their well-being in mind. The second principle is kind words. You show kindness in the way you speak. Even when you have to say critical things, you have to criticize what the other people or person has done. But try to do it in such a way that you show that you respect the other person. One of the worst things for a relationship is contempt. We look down on the other person. So even when you're being critical, you'd like to see the other person change his or her ways. Do it in such a way that you show respect. The other person will, on the one hand, be willing to listen and to realize that okay, you do have that person's well-being in mind. The third principle is that when you help one another, be genuine in the help. See what the other person really needs and provide that. You don't make a show of doing favors here and favors there that are not really useful to the other person. It's when you do things that really help that other person. You see what the person, where that person has a need, and you provide for that need. Again, that kind of help goes, it goes to the heart. And then finally, consistency. What this means is that your behavior is consistent with that other person's position in your life. People who are your parents, you treat a certain way. Your husband or wife, you treat in a certain way, in line with their position. You treat your children in a certain way. After all, they are your children. You're concerned about them. In other words, you treat people in line with the kind of treatment they deserve, based on their position in your life. You think about the good things they've done for you in the past, and you try to show gratitude in a way that's really appropriate. People who've been loyal to you for a long time, okay, you're loyal to them. When you behave in these ways, these four principles, in giving, kind words, genuine help, and consistency, okay, then that relationship will be a relationship that is really deeply satisfying for everybody involved. And all too often there are so many relationships in the world where one person is taking advantage of somebody else. And those don't last very long. It's a relationship where both sides are generous with each other in these four ways that the relationship becomes a relationship that's worth maintaining. And both sides see that it's worth maintaining. So when difficulties come up, you're able to weather the difficulties. Because there's that sense that you have something valuable that you share. When your companionship is based on these principles, it can last for a long time. <laughs>